First dates are equally terrifying and exciting. How can you be sure the other person enjoyed themselves? Well, understand the signs of a good first date. If you've recently been on a first date and not sure whether it went as well as you thought or not, let's check out the most important signs of a good first date for you to check against. Hello, welcome to my channel, Redefine Your Relationship, where we give you all the valuable information you need to take your relationship to the next level. Subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss any of my video. First dates are probably one of the most confusing events on the planet. You're never sure if the other person enjoyed it as much as you. You're terrified you might have said or done something they found strange. Beforehand, you're so nervous you have nausea in abundance. I often wonder why we put ourselves through these things. Of course, we do it because love is a wonderful thing. But to reach that point, we must have first dates. The key to a good first date is to enjoy yourself, relax, and let things flow. You're not at a job interview. If it doesn't go well, you can always shrug your shoulders and move on. Number 1. The conversation flowed without many awkward silences. If there are one or two awkward silences, that's fine. Remember, you don't know each other at the moment. But if the conversation flowed well over the course of the date, that's a pretty good indicator that the date was a success. When the conversation stalls and stutters and the whole thing makes you want to cringe, that's quite the opposite situation. Number 2. The date lasted longer than planned. If you didn't look at the clock once and when you finally do check the time, it's way later than you thought. It's one of the signs of a good first date. Losing track of time means you're enjoying yourself and the other person must feel the same way. They didn't subtly divert the day towards an end point. Number 3. You didn't notice much of what was going on around you. This is definitely one of the signs of a good first date. You were so absorbed in the other person and the thrilling conversation you were having that you didn't notice anything that was going on around you. If you're looking at the walls, checking out the wallpaper pattern, and memorizing the menu, the chances are the date is not as scintillating as it should be. Number 4. The conversation wasn't one-sided. If the conversation was equal and you were contributing as much as they were, that's another good indicator. If the conversation is more towards one person than the other, it could mean that one person is enjoying it more. However, an equal flow of conversation means you're both invested in what you're talking about and enjoying yourselves. Number 5. You regularly made meaningful eye contact and gentle touching. If you managed to hold eye contact a few times and there was the occasional brush of an arm or foot, you're finding each other attractive. And you're both enjoying the date. Of course, that doesn't mean you have to jump on one another as soon as you get out of the bar or restaurant. But subtle touches and looks go a long way. Number 6. There was a lot of mutual laughing. Laughing together is one of the signs of a good first date. It's a way we relieve tension and relax. So, if you're both laughing, it's a good indicator that the date didn't only go well, but that the chances of another one are quite high. Number 7. You completely forget about your phone. This is a rarity these days. If you forgot about checking your phone during the date, it's one of the signs that things went well. You were so engrossed in the other person that your social media feeds and text messages simply weren't important to you for those couple of hours. It also means that you were present in the moment. That's never a bad thing. Number 8. Your nerves disappeared quickly. It's normal to feel a little nervous before a first date and when you first arrive. If you failed to notice the nerves shortly after meeting your date, it means you were comfortable and at ease. That's definitely one of the signs of a good first date. Number 9. You talked about meeting up again and things you might do together. A bad date doesn't have any mention of things you're going to do in the future, e.g. perhaps go to a gig next week or go to a new restaurant you've both fancied trying. If there was talk of doing something else together, then you can rest assured that it went well. Number 10. The conversation wasn't just superficial. It's easy to sit there and talk about the restaurant decor or the weather, but the conversation was a little deeper. For example, 
You talked about family, friends, life, work, etc. It shows you connected and started to get to know one another. Number 11. The date continued elsewhere. This doesn't necessarily mean that you went back home with your date, but if you did, that's fine too. However, if you moved on to a club or a bar after your meal, it's a sign that neither of you wanted the date to end. You wanted to talk some more. That's a great sign. Number 12. You simply felt comfortable. Whether you notice it or not, when you feel comfortable with someone, you instantly relax. You're able to be your genuine self. When you're not relaxed, you're stiff, your body language is closed, and it's not easy to talk. So, if you felt comfortable, you can be sure that the date went well. Number 13. You were in contact with each other soon after the date ended. If you received a text after the date ended, or you sent one and had a reply, that's one of the signs of a good first date. It shows that you wanted to follow up on the great time you had. You weren't quite ready to cut the conversation so abruptly. Conclusion. If you can nod your head to a few of these signs of a good first date, the chances of a round two coming your way are pretty high. First dates are usually high-pressure affairs. But when you break it down to what it really is, two people meeting for a chat, you can relax and break down those nervous barriers. Make it easier by meeting somewhere you both feel comfortable and where you can talk without having to shout over loud music. If you can identify a few signs of a good first date, the chances are that it went well. Be yourself. Always remember that the other person is probably just as nervous as you are. My team will be very happy. If you can like this video and share it with your friends. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next.